Here's our 2008 Chevy Silverado 3500 four-wheel drive with a 6.0 liter gas engine. This truck does have a salvage title due to a uh, light front end accident. Uh, this truck originally had a push bumper on it with one of those grill guards that came up to about here. And when it hit the whatever it hit, tree, deer, car, it folded that uh, brush guard over. And when it did that, it hit the uh, very front of the fenders. So the fenders were only damaged back to about here. And that was it on both sides, just the front couple inches. So we did have to replace the front fenders. Of course the headlights the grill the bumper we upgraded the front end the grill and the bumper to the new 2012 style looks much sharper you know like the same thing on this side here the uh, just the front couple inches were folded over and then the hood itself just the front couple inches of the hood were damaged the trucks running right now you can hear it running just fine Yeah. Right here is the oil. Let's see, we actually just did a, about a $500 tune-up on this truck. It got uh, new oil filter. Um, sorry about that. Can you get it in there? Plugs, wires. Uh, of course, coolant, you can see all that's brand new. Oh, that's fine. You can see all the plugs and the wires. Of course, as you can see in there as well, here the uh, the front tranny cooler, that wasn't damaged. Uh, but the condenser and the radiator were, were only damaged just because the very bottom tabs down here were broke off. In other words, you know, the fins and everything were all fine, but because they were broke off on the bottom, we had to replace the coolers as well. So the coolers are all brand new. And here it runs great. Hood shuts great. Got some tread left there. I would say you got probably 50-60% tread life left. The truck is a little dirty right now. This looks really good. You know, some water spots just wipe right off. But on the uh, the doors itself, you know, we didn't paint these red stripes. These doors here, um, they're a little bit faded. So you got to buff them out or your graphics on the side, whatever you put your decals on the lettering on the truck, that's going to you know cover all of that up match is pretty good but this is a little bit duller than that is because this is brand new paint so it'll look fine once uh, you put your graphics on this is an lt2 truck so it has fully loaded every option leather uh, the only damage in the interior that i can see is the center console armrest there is a little chewed off in other words we got storage up in here storage here. I do have the original window sticker and just for the chassis cab of the truck I don't know if you can see it and it's actually all faded off of here. Um, I believe it's $38,000. Um, just for the chassis itself. There it's all nice and clean. We have the original steering wheel here. Uh, but the original steering wheel just had kind of some wear marks on it. You can choose to put that one back in if you would like. Seats, of course, they fold up. Both sides do. Power seats, both sides. Doors shut good, as you can see. Got some cat paw prints here on the top. Um, same thing here, this is all a gel coat composite fiberglass body, so it's a little faded here on the back, but you go after it with a buffer and it looked more like that.
Again, a lot of this is cat paw prints, but there is a little bit of rust there. Not a lot. Rear tires. A little crack right here in the Dude, it looks like we got one wheel lift spacer. No equipment comes with the truck other than everything you're seeing in this video. This is a twin line, two wenches, and it is an extendable boom, so this boom will extend out. Everything works in the wheel lift just fine. The, all the external controls here on both sides work just fine. And then the internal controls, which obviously the internal controls are only gonna control just the wheel lift. When this fender here was hit in the front, this fender was pushed back just a tick and it hit this door edge. And with people opening and closing the door, it chipped the paint off this front edge here a little bit, so that should be touched up. The same thing here, back seat flips up. Power windows, locks, and mirrors. Go ahead and turn the AC down here a little bit so you can hear me. Truck currently has 99,315 miles. Now I'll go ahead and shut the truck off, open up the door. That way everything's... I do only have one key for this truck as it stands right now. Start it up so you can see a fresh start. My hand's here. Obviously the other one's holding the camera. So you can see I'm not clearing anything. There is no check engine lights on, just the light telling me to put my seatbelt on. I'll put that on and that light goes right out. Yeah, this here is a little cracked on the control module. Our beacons, um, which let me turn everything on here really quick and hop back out and I'll show you what all of that looks like. I know usually these lights, LED lights, usually don't show up very well on uh, camera. But they are flashing amber lights. We've only got one strobe light down here. This one's not working. Of course, we got lower floods. And then up top there. Does have a strobe light kit. The strobe lights that were in the front headlights, we removed those. People usually have lots of problems with them and don't like them, so we took them out, but the truck still does have the box in the event you do want to put strobe lights back in the uh, front headlights. We do have a power rear sliding window. As you can see, that opens up just fine. Closes. Uh, we put an Escalade here steering wheel on it just because it's, you know, it's a wood grain. It's a little nicer. You get a brushed aluminum here. You can say his truck's got about a $500 tune up to it, so with that, we've got full tank of gas for you. And the uh, truck runs and drives great. Brakes are fine. go on highway speed here uh, now we're doing about 55 of course our wipers work let go of the steering wheel and as you can see I'm still not touching it whatsoever still going highway speeds we're still going down the center of the road it doesn't pull one way or the other there's no shimmies or shakes or squeaks or rattles it does have four-wheel drive electronic and the uh, four-wheel drive does work We'll, uh, really quick here, I'll show you the, uh, the wheel lift. You can see the wheel lift does go down. Let me go boom up, so you can see it out there. It does 
extend out quite a ways. Closes. PTO off, and we'll go for a little drive. Let's get all the windows work. Radio works just fine. Do it about 50. I set the cruise. That's what the green light there is. It does have the, uh, I don't know if you can see it here, it's got a high idle button so we can make the high idle go up in case you're doing some winching. Again we're doing highway speeds and again I let go of the steering wheel, truck's still going straight down the road and I'll actually Go ahead, and I'm hitting the brakes and not touching the steering wheel at all, and we're down to a dead stop. Steering wheel didn't pull one way or the other. Runs great. Brakes great. It's 99,000 miles on it. Like I say, the outside of the truck's got some uh, wear and tear and some usage to it. Um, there is one mark on the truck I actually forgot to tell you about. I'll hop out and show you really quick. Right here on the driver's side, there's some scratches. Of course, right here. Probably saw that in the video earlier. You can fill it in uh, some new gel coat or fiberglass if you would like. Or just leave it as is. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email. Thank you.